Hi YouTubers, it's Mark from Hovdog Brewery here. Right, today I'd like to talk about one of my ideas to enhance a brewery. And my first uh, idea is a automatic Herms control system. Well, you know, what do you mean by a Herms control system? Basically, let's look at Herms itself. So, Herms means Heat Exchange Recirculating Mash System. Uh, there's two, there's Herms or RIMS. I've got a Herms and the majority of home brewers who've made their own brewery from uh, bits they've bought will use a Herms. Basically it's uh, a coil within uh, a heated tank of water. Most people will use the HLT, they build a, a, a copper coil or stainless steel coil inside the HLT. Um, you fill your HDT for the water and then you can pump your wort through the coil within the HLT, it goes in at a temperature and then comes out, hopefully, uh, warmer. Uh, of course it all depends on the temperature of the water in the HLT. Uh, it's a good system if you've lost temperature and you're on an electronic brewery uh, where you don't have, you don't tend to have elements in your mash tun, that's a good way of actually bringing the temperature back up so uh, your efficiencies are spot on. So here's the average um, or the common brewery that someone's made at home. HLT on the left, uh, mashed on the right. You can see the coil with inside the, uh, the HLT. And what happens is that'll tend to be temperature controlled with a PID. So that's on the left. Ignore the numbers, it's just, it's just a PID picture. The PID will heat up the uh, HLT. There'll be some feedback with a, a thermocouple and uh, it'll just maintain a temperature that you've set. Uh, normally you would then pump that water out. I know there's other people doing different things, but basically you put your water into your mash tun, add your grains or your grains first and underlet with your water, etc. Um, you then set, let your mash tun uh, sit with your grains in and uh, hopefully do some nice conversions. Now, what can happen and often does is that uh, as your mash tun sits there, it will actually lose temperature. So there we go, losing temperature. And the normal method is that you've got a switch on the front of your control panel, turn it on, starts the pump, that then pumps the work through the HLT, uh, perms coil, back in your mash tun, and it brings your temperatures up. Okay, and then if your temperatures uh, are fine, you can leave it, but sometimes if you leave it on for too long, your temperatures will actually continue going and you get really bad efficiencies and flavours that you don't really want. Okay. So what can we do about this, eh? You know, you, you'll turn your pump, your switch off and you'll hopefully get the temperatures back down. So my next idea is I want to automate this. So again, we've got our common setup. Um, we've dowed in, everything's looking good. I've added a second PID. Now that's connected to a thermocouple that's in the mash tun and it's connected to the pump. So on the output of your central PID, you connect it to the heat. So we have dowed in, it's looking good. Uh-oh, temperature's starting to drop again. Oh no! The thermocouple will then send back the, uh, the hit temperature to your PID. Your PID will then say it's below set point and will energise your pump. Pumps your work through your Herms coils and that brings up your temperature back to your desired point. Of course what you'd also could do with on this one is uh, you could probably do with um, recircling your um, wort through your mash tun so you get a nice constant temperature um, that'll be done with a, another pump. Most brewers do have two pumps on their system so you could use that second pump to to pump that round uh, and it'll also help keep a balanced temperature. You're getting hot spots within the mash tun. Now what will happen is the temperature will actually start cycling around your set point. So uh, it's what you call hunting. So it'll go up slightly higher. The pit will stop the pump. It'll then cool down. And then it'll go below the denied set point and kicking the pump again. So you actually cycle around a bit like a fermentation fridge does. Okay, so that's the idea. 
dead simple. Nothing hard about it. I just, uh, you know, if you start off with your brewery now, you're going to make it. Buy three pids all the same. Um, I've got two pids the same, and the central one isn't a pid. It literally is just a, a temperature sensor. So for me, this is not as easy to do. It means stripping the panel down, cutting a bigger hole, probably trying to fill what I've already cut, maybe even get a new panel. A lot of work. There's people out there who can do this already. They might have a pid in the middle. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be easy for someone, not me. But this is my first idea. So if you've done it, great. Put a comment in, link to your video. Um, if other people may have done this video already and be doing it, I've not seen any of that. So again, stick a link into the video and let us know what's going on. Right, that's it, Mark from Hoverdog, signing off, and as always, stay thirsty.